Hey y'all, come on in. It's time to cook dinner. It's Friday night and I'm on the stove, so we're stepping a little bit outside the box. Guess what I'm doing? Something I haven't done in ages. Pan fried pork chops and a big old pan of uh, stir fried cabbage, mushrooms, and broccoli. That's what's on my menu tonight. Mm -hmm. So, hope y'all having a God bless Friday night. I've started to do fish, but y'all know I've done fish twice already this week, so one pork chop tonight ain't gonna hurt nothing. Ain't gonna hurt a thing, so not to worry y'all, because I probably won't even need a half of one. So, talk to me what y'all been doing today. I've been out and about all day. Doctor appointment and <clears throat> getting ready to make this trip Monday. So, hopefully y'all, I haven't looked at any news today, so I don't know what's really going on. Hope everything is starting to quiet down a little bit. They deployed a bunch of American U.S. firefighters over there to Australia. Yeah, yeah, Tanya was just saying they made a big deployment of uh, firefighters to Australia because that, that uh, country is still burning, so we still praying for them. I don't know what the end is going to be, but we're going to continue to pray. And also in Puerto Rico, I have I need to check on Puerto Rico because they were going through some things oh, yeah, um, the point. first part of this week. So I don't know what they, I know it was, you know, an earthquake is bad no matter what point it's at. So I just don't know the updated version of what's going on with them. But we certainly are continuing to pray for them that... Whew, we'll have a good success. That's why we have to continue to pray without ceasing. And you know, we, I say all the time, we don't have to stop and even think about what we need to pray for because there's always something to pray for. There's always something going on. If it's not in our immediate families or people we even know up close and personal, our sisters and brothers across the world are still need our prayers. So I know y'all standing in the gap with me, so... We're going to keep it moving. We're going to continue to pray. And we're going to stay in this kitchen and try to get some good food going. This is one of those easy, quick and easy meals. A little bit of prep time to get these chops. Just <clears throat> regular pork chops. Well, these are nice large ones. I didn't realize they were this big. They're the biggest two hands. But anywho, we're going to get them fried up. And I know Kareem and Tans are going to be happy campers because they love fried pork chops. So I'm on, it's going to take about a good uh, 20 minutes to fry each pan. I have two pans of them, so it'll take a good 20 minutes to fry each pan. And uh, then I'm, in a few minutes, I'm going to get my stir fry going, and I shall return. Okay, y'all, it's time to put the veggies in. I'm going to go ahead and start out with my mushrooms and onions. Get them in my oil. I've got olive oil in the pan. I'm also going to put some my uh, Okay, I don't know what in the world happened there. Hopefully it won't happen again. I was just talking and the camera just blinked off. Did I touch it? Did I run out of juice? What happened? Okay, it seems to be working now. So we're just going to continue on. As I was saying, um, it's going to take about 20 minutes for this stir fry dish to be done. And of course, uh, the pork chop. I already told you it was going to take 20 minutes now. Sorry about these little glitches. I had to go back and free up some space. I didn't realize my space had run out on me. But everything is cooking right along real good. The mushrooms again, 20 more minutes. Well, by now, 15 minutes. And then we're going to drop those cabbage in. Uh, the seasoning that I use is on, on these uh, mushrooms is a little bit of salt, some pepper, and some gold mountain seasoning. So not a whole lot of just regular, you know, table salt. Same thing on the pork chop. Uh, I've turned them once. Okay. Another, and you know when you're doing pan fry because you want that uh, crust, it gets so nice and crispy. You just go ahead and continue to turn it and turn it until it gets like you want it. And they are well on their way. So we got about another seven or eight minutes, I think. Let's see. Yeah, about seven or eight minutes on this first pan. They are the, so big, and I've got my big skillet. You can fry only three at a time. So, got three going at a time in there. Mm. 
Mmm, yummy. I tasted one of those mushrooms. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and start dropping my cabbage in. We're going to put about four cups of cabbage in this. You know, just like any other veggie, cabbage will wilt down. So, about a cup and a half. <clears throat> Another cup. I got plenty of shredded cabbage, so I got plenty of cabbage. So that cabbage will be nice and full. Okay, and then I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of, um, just a slight little bit of seasoning. Because, you know, cabbage absorbs a lot of um, seasoning. I'm, this is that Jolish rice seasoning. This is good. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of that Jolish rice seasoning. Probably about a teaspoon of that. And we're just going to get it all give it like this here. What I really want to do, I want it to sort of steam up a little bit. I'm not, I'm trying not to have to put the lid on this one. I'm getting it. I don't want to put the lid on. I want, because I wanted it stir fry, but these mush, these portobellos give off a lot of juice. A lot, a lot of juice. So we're just going to let them continue to cook like that. And then in a few minutes, I'm going to, I'm going to mix everything all together. Okay. I still got it on high, high heat, so that's where it's going to have to cook, y'all. Okay, y'all, the cabbage is done. The cabbage only have to be in there about 10 minutes before it's ready, so it's wilted down. And at that point, when it gets done, just, of course, leave it on the burner, because if you see it still continue to cook, and, um... It'll be okay. So the mushrooms and the onions are done. And now the cabbage is done. And it can just sit there and sort of finish off right on the burner, y'all. That's some good eating. It's going to be so wonderful with those chops. So the cho I think the first pan of chops, as you can see, they're about ready to come out of there. Yes, ma'am. Nice and golden brown. Remember, you have to really watch these because... I put a, uh, the batter that's on them, I put a, uh, y'all know I do my buttermilk batter, and so you have to cook them, you know you have to cook them done, but you have to watch them enough, and you can't have that heat real, real low, because they need to cook so they'll crisp up, so the chops are ready to start coming out of the pan. Okay, I need to move this, let's go ahead and the place is with the tea kettle. Keep my kettle on the stove, y'all, because I'm into this hot tea thing, y'all. So anyway, like I say, I've been just had a real busy day today. A good day, because the weather, can you believe this weather, though? The weather felt, was like, I don't know, what, what was the temperature today, Tony? Do you know? 67. 67. And y'all know that's fall, that's a good fall day or a good spring day. So, but don't be trying to uh, dress like it is spring now. But y'all know it's still winter time. So, you can peel off. That's why you have to dress in layers and then go ahead and peel uh, when it gets hot like this. But I saw some folks when I was out and about today, you know, some people put their shorts on and them halter tops right now. So, I don't know what that would be about, you know. And I guess people just... Uh, Dress according to the weather, which I dress by the season. And it, it is still winter time. And we don't want nobody catching them bad colds and getting the croup and all that. So, y'all be careful and be mindful now. Winter time, y'all. Okay. Getting, I'm starting to get that second batch of chops in. And like I said, this is one of those meals you can do. It's, it's a nice, hearty meal. And I can say healthy with this, uh, unhealthy part of course is the bread because the, the, I can use uh, olive oil and corn oil so it's not so so bad so, so for people who have health issues um, of course you have to stay away from most of what I'm cooking but the veggies are good even if you want to do this meal and the rest of your family can eat the fry or you you could bake these same pork chops not do that but I'm just, I just chose that you know tonight we do a fry Okay. But these same chops, you can take them 
season them up real good and uh, run them in the oven or pan fry them right on just put some little oil in the pan and leave the breading off same meat just cook a different way to cook it okay these things are huge I, I don't know when I bought them um, you couldn't tell in the packaging that they were this big but they are huge I want to get this cabbage off this burner because this is still trying to cook a little bit. So we're going to remove the cabbage. It's just to go out the steam because I don't want it to cook no more. I'll sit it right in the oven. How about that? The oven's not on. So we just continue to cook our chops another uh, 20 minutes on the chops and dinner will be served, y'all. So. Hang in there with me, uh, run on in there and uh, keep the eye on your pot or do take out what is it gonna do so we can sit down and eat together. Okay, there's number three out of there. Got one more to put in there. And that is it. That's all the chops, y'all. They're all in the pan. I was gonna do eight, but I thought six is a plenty because I uh, again I'm not gonna eat one. I decided she didn't want one, so I'm about done with this dinner. Um, Are you wearing skinny jeans to give your body a shake? Okay, y'all hear what she asked me. I'm, did y'all hear what she asked me? You trying to look young. Where you go today? I went to my exercise class. Mm -hmm. Let me try to keep up what I do, honey. I got all my exercise pants <clears throat> from earlier. And, and they happen to be, a, you know, those stretch jeans things. And I mean, what else am I going to wear to the gym? She asked me, that, was I trying to uh, put these on to make my shape? Hey, if you see a shape, baby, what can I say? Hey! Hey! <laughs> I mean, all I can say, if you see a shape, roll with it. Now, these are very comfortable. And as a matter of fact, you know, I don't, I very wear, I don't wear, um, I guess you call it leisure wear, exercise wear. I don't, this is not how I dress, you know, go out. But of course, if I'm going to the gym or something, yeah. So they don't use the see me in, gym, in this kind of stuff, honey. They don't even know what to say. But for these next three months with this rehab program, that's where I'm going to have to dress. I'm going to have to wear my skinny jeans or my, my uh, exercise stuff. Yeah, and I have to do it. And by the way, I'm doing well in my class. I uh, am enjoying it. It's a great program. So I urge you, um, if you're in a situation where you have to go to a cardio rehab, don't fight it. Don't reject it. Because I talked to somebody that was uh, getting ready to go, and they were talking about, well, I don't want to do that. You know, they were going by people said, I said, well, go to the class. And see how it is. Try it and give it a chance before you shoot it down. Because here's the thing. I haven't exercised in that manner in a while. But the point is, this exercise program is to get me together. This is for me. It's not for fun. You know, it's, it's to get me together. And it's for sure. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge. But not as much of a challenge as I thought it was going to be. My biggest challenge because I got the issue with the sciatica. I have to take it a little easy because of that. But it's even helping that, you know, because it's strengthening. Um, so I'm getting used to that. So that's my only drawback with it. If I had to say anything, but outside of that, I mean, now that I've gone through my initial time, every, well, not every day, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's an hour and a half to two hours. And what can I say? It's exercise on the exercise machine, and then you know, just your regular calisthenics type exercise, and we're done. And I feel good after you know a session. So I'm seriously uh, urging you all. If, you, if there's anybody out there listening to me, if you have to go through your uh, have to go through a cardio program as a result of having some heart issues, don't fight against going. To back to those exercise places because it's what's going to get you back in shape or uh, and you know some change you know get your life back on track now, i can tell already what it's doing for me i'm excited about it 
I am excited about it. And they have it set up where you can choose what time you want to go. You can go as early as 7 o'clock in the morning or as late as 12, 12 noon. So I chose to go at um, 10 o'clock. So, you know, 10 o'clock is a good time for me. You give me a chance to get up and do my piddling and eat and do my prayer time and I, everything. Just, you know, so I like the program. So get with it, y'all. If you fought it, stop fighting. And that piece of meat there, I'm going to have to cut it off. And fry it right there. I mean, that was a big one. You had a big flat piece on there. Okay. okay, folks, we'll be right back. It should be done shortly. Okay, Tony, I need a little volume now. Okay, y'all, I've got a couple pork chops that I had seasoned. I was not going to cook them, but since I already seasoned them, I'm just going to fry them without the batter. So, of course, those will be the two that I eat. And this is still the olive oil and corn oil, so you still, you know, good with the healthy thing. Just finishing these last three bread ones off. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to pan fry them, no batter. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Those, that will be mine. And I've cooked them like this before. You just cook them uh, with no batter, and they're still nice and tasty. Um, and they'll be so, they have a little bit of this natural crust on the outside, so I can't wait to sit down and enjoy this meal. Because I haven't had them pan fried like this in a long time. Long time, y'all. So we're gonna get go ahead and get these out of the pan. So now all of my breaded ones are done. I've got one more. Not bread ones, put in there. So they'll fry the same thing 20 minutes. And we'll get them out. And then I can eat. I'm gonna have to wait. Okay? Alrighty, y'all. So we got everything going along nicely. And still, I'm keeping the heat uh, medium high heat. I don't, I don't want them. I don't want that grease to not be really, really hot on them. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh. Okay. Okay, y'all. Everything is ready. Those golden brown fried breaded pork pan fried breaded pork chops, and of course those pork chops on the back burn. They're beautiful golden brown as well with no breading at all and we got our stir fried cabbage uh, onions and mushrooms Ooh, we get ready to eat y'all okay and compliments of uh, Tanya she brought us some uh, where'd you get these from Tanya some shrimp fried rice hold on a minute okay y'all there it is Tanya brought us some shrimp fried rice it's from Ninja um, okay everything is ready Get ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this good old Friday night pork chops, cabbage, shrimp fried rice dinner. So thank y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all got something on the table all ready to go. And then we can sit down and break bread together. Uh, if not, you grab your sandwich and make you a hot dog or something. And until I decide to cook again, remember now, keep those prayers going up. So the blessings will continue to come down and bless our sisters and brothers who are hurting throughout this country. Even if we got somebody right in our household, just keep right on praying uh, and God will answer. So until I cook again now, to Lou.